Pancakes. It is tea time, and Mummy Pig has a surprise for everyone. Today is a day for pancakes. Pancakes. Delicious. <laughs> I love pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> everyone loves pancakes. I'm the expert at flipping the pancakes over. Leave that to me. Are you sure, Daddy Pig? Last time you got a bit grumpy when you dropped the pancake on the floor. I did not get grumpy. There was a problem with the frying pan. <laughs> 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 Mummy, can we help make the pancakes, please? <laughs> yes, you can help me make the batter. <laughs> First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Pepper. Pepper loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. Delicious. This pancake is for Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> this pancake is for Mummy Pig. Hooray! <laughs> you still aren't flipping them high enough, Mummy Pig. The next pancake is yours, Daddy Pig. So now you can show us how it should be done. Mm, delicious. Mm. <laughs> is everyone watching? The secret of making a good pancake is to flip it high into the air. <laughs> A one, two, three, whoopla! <gasps> Silly Daddy. Oh, maybe that was just a bit too high. Oh, what a shame. That was the last pancake. It should be a simple matter to get it down. <sighs> oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot reach his pancake. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I think I know a way to get it down. Let's go upstairs, children. <laughs> this way. <laughs> what is Mummy Pig planning to do? On the count of three, we all have to start jumping up and down. One, two, three, jump! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> It worked. Now Daddy Pig has his pancake. Daddy has a pancake on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Syrup on your pancake, Daddy Pig? Yes, please. <laughs> One, two, three, hoopla! Mm. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch. Pepper and George have come to Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Thank you, Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to pick some vegetables from the garden for lunch? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg! 
Hello, Pepper, George. This is Grandpa Pig's vegetable garden. He has grown all these vegetables himself. <coughs> What's this? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? Ho, 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 ho. Let's choose some vegetables for lunch. <laughs> Pepper, do you like tomatoes? Yes, Grandpa Pig. George, do you like tomatoes? No. George does not like tomatoes. Oh, dear. Do you both like lettuce? Yes, Grandpa Pig. No. George does not like lettuce. Oh, dear. I must have something that George likes. Do you like cucumber? Yuck! George does not like cucumbers, and he does not like lettuce, and he does not like tomatoes. Well, George, what vegetable do you like? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Silly George. Chocolate cake isn't a vegetable. <laughs> Maybe George will like the vegetables when they're made into a lovely salad. <laughs> oh, lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. First, we have to wash them. Pepper and George <laughs> help Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> 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 Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh, dear, George. Don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck. George... This is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <coughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> <coughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. Hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, Mummy and Daddy are having breakfast. It is a lovely sunny day and Pepper and George can't wait to go into the garden to play. Mummy, please can we go out to play? You can go out to play when you finish your breakfast. <coughs> George, don't drink your juice too quickly. <laughs> George drank his juice too quickly, and now he has hiccups. <laughs> Can we go out to play now, Bobby? Not while George has hiccups. But George's hiccups have gone, Bobby. Haven't they, George? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, all right, you can go out and play, but look after George. <laughs> Pepper and George love playing in the garden. George, I'm going to throw the ball and then you have to catch it. <gasps> George, please stop hiccuping. <gasps> George! Now you throw the ball to me and I have to catch it. <gasps> George! Oh dear. George's hiccups are spoiling the game. George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. <laughs> Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you have done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> <coughs> Close your eyes and turn around quickly, three times. Pepper's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups. I know. To cure hiccups, the ill piggy must be given a shot. George, I'm going to scare you, but you must remember, it's only a game and it'll stop your hiccups. Remember, this is just pretend scaring. <coughs> Peppa, you mustn't play so roughly with George. He's only little. Sorry, Bobby. I was just trying to stop George's hiccups. George's hiccups have gone. Here comes Daddy Pig with two beakers of juice. George, if you drink too quickly, you will get hiccups again. I'm not as little as George. I can drink juice as quickly as I want to. <laughs> It is a lovely, bright, sunny day. Pepper and her family are going for a picnic. Daddy Pig is bringing the picnic basket. Picnic blanket, bread, cheese, tomatoes and lemonade. Is there anything we've forgotten? Mummy's strawberry cake! <laughs> I was just teasing. Mummy's homemade strawberry cake is there too. Is everybody ready? Ready! Then let's go! <laughs> this looks like just the spot for our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> oh, it's great to be outdoors. We should run around a bit and get some exercise. I want to eat, then have a nap. I certainly don't want to run around. Maybe Daddy should run around a bit. His tummy is quite big. My tummy is not big. But later, I will get some exercise, even if no one else does. <laughs> Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> ah, I feel quite sleepy. 
I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the ducks? Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We've no more bread. The ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> eh? What? You lot again? Peppa told you. There's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade <laughs> strawberry cake. Oh, a wasp! I hate wasps. Shoo! What a fuss, Mummy Pig. It's only a little wasp. <gasps> Go away, wasp! Just stay still, Mummy Pig, then it will fly away. <laughs> there, you see? All you had to do was stay still. Hey, get away! Scram! Help! Chew! Get it off me! I hope the wasp doesn't sting, Daddy. Oh, get away, you little pest! No, Daddy Pig is running too fast for the wasp to catch him. Let's eat our cake before the wasp comes back. Oh no, we forgot to leave any for the ducks. I think I lost it. You said you would run around and get some exercise, Daddy Pig, but I didn't believe you'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I managed to hang on to my slice of strawberry cake. Stop, Daddy! We promised the rest of the cake for the ducks. Oh. You are very lucky, ducks. <laughs> Say thank you to Daddy Pig. You're most welcome. Ho <laughs> ho. It's time to go home. Say goodbye to the ducks. Bye bye, ducks. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> A kite. It is a bright sunny day. Peppa and her family are in the park. They are going to fly a kite. <laughs> George is going to fly the kite first. George runs as fast as he can. But the kite won't fly. You're doing it all wrong. You didn't run fast enough. Now it's my turn. Peppa runs as fast as she can. <laughs> but the kite still won't fly. <laughs> the kite won't fly if there isn't any wind, no matter how fast you run. Oh. We just have to wait until the wind picks up a bit. Uh. Look! It's getting windy! Now that it is windy, the kite can fly. <laughs> the wind is quite strong now. The wind is very strong now. George! <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite. Hooray! <laughs> higher, higher. <laughs> Daddy Pig flies the kite very well. Whoa. Yes, 
I am a bit of an expert at these things. Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense. I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa! Oh dear, everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, now that we're all muddy, can we jump in the puddle? I suppose so. After all, you can't get any muddier. <laughs> and I think Daddy Pig is going to be doing the washing. Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles is just as much fun as flying the kite. Shopping! Pepper and George are going shopping. <laughs> Pepper and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. So does Pepper. Daddy, can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Pepper. Oh. But you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody! We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> <laughs> This way! <laughs> Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> Pigetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Pepper. Have another guess. Hmm. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. 
The next thing on the list is onions. Onions! I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> onions! Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <laughs> A plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> there are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas? <laughs> a melon! <laughs> 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 This is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions, melon, chocolate cake. Chocolate, chocolate cake. cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Peppa, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Um, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig! <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake! Hooray! <laughs> 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 Daddy puts up a picture. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a new picture of Pepper and George. We should put this lovely new picture on the wall. Leave it to me. I am the DIY expert of the house. Are you sure you can do it? Of course. I'll just put a nail in the wall and hang the picture on it. Very good. I'm just off to visit Granny and Grandpa Pig. I'll see you later. And please don't make a mess. Mess? <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Daddy, can we help put up the picture? You can watch, and then you'll learn how to do it properly. First, I need a tape measure. And a pencil. That is where I'm going to put the nail. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> now I need a hammer and a nail. Stand back, children, and watch a craftsman at work. Daddy Pig is going to knock the nail into the wall. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Peppa. <laughs> Easy as pie. Ooh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly, Peppa. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. 
<laughs> this is pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> but look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <gasps> Mummy! Mummy Pig is home. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! Quick, pretend nothing has happened. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What have you been doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought you were going to put the picture up. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm sure it's quite easy. <laughs> there. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy. But when you did it, Daddy, it looked really hard. Shush, Peppa, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Gardening! Peppa and George are playing at Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. Catch! <laughs> What's this? Dinosaur. Grrr. A dinosaur? Ho, 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 ho. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting these seeds. Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Peppa and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. No, <laughs> you'll have to be patient, Peppa. It will take a long time to grow. Peppa, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I want the strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Peppa. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I will have strawberries. Yes. <laughs> come on, Peppa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, Strawberry. <laughs> Grandpa Pig looks after Peppa's strawberry plant. After many days, Grandpa Pig finds a tiny plant growing. Day by day, the plant grows bigger and bigger. Then one day, Grandpa Pig finds something very special. Strawberries! Peppa and George have come to play again. Grandpa, Grandpa, did my plant grow? Yes. Look. Ooh. 
strawberries. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa, can we plant something else? Yes. Now it's George's turn to choose. Yes, you choose, George. Choose a carrot. <laughs> Grandpa, I think George wants to grow a carrot. George, would you like to grow a carrot? <laughs> no. What would you like to grow? <laughs> George has thought of something he wants to grow. Dinosaur. George wants to grow a dinosaur tree. <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't grow trees. <laughs> Dinosaur. 